Hi, I want to do a quick review. We've talked about the cell and we're moving into organisms. Um, and so I want to review the cell is the most basic unit of structure and function in all living things. We had several examples, including red blood cells, nerve cells, um, skin cells, muscle cells. They all are um, working together to do a job. When you take the same kind of cell and connect it to other of its own kind, we call that a tissue. They are also working together to do the same job. For example, muscle tissue, skin tissue, connective tissue. We see this tissue right here. This is our muscle tissue. Um, we have our skin. We saw a skin tissue under the microscope in our other example in class. So when you start to get multiple kinds of tissue working together, you get something called an organ. Your heart, your liver, your brain, and your skin are all examples of organs. Um, those are multiple kinds of tissue doing the same job, creating an organ. Next, we have multiple organs working together as some, in something called an organ system. So your heart and your vessels work together in your circulatory system, that's an organ system, which has the job of pumping your blood throughout your body. So all of these organs in the system would do the same job or be working towards the same goal. Um, you also have a, your respiratory system. You, sorry, you have your respiratory system, your nervous system, um, your muscular system, your skeletal system, your digestive system, just to name a few, and they're all working towards the same goal. Um, many different systems working together, many organ systems working together, create something called an organism. All living things that can carry out life processes are an organism. This is the most complex level of organization. So we went from cell to tissue to organ to organ system to organism. And so uh, this is usually a multicellular organism. However, many organisms are made of only a single cell like bacteria, and we call those unicellular organisms. So let's look at this cactus, for example. Is it a cell, a tissue, an organ, and an organ system? Uh, cacti are found in most desert environments. Their function is to live and survive in their environment. It is an organism. Next, we have this uh, organ right here. This organ picture right here. It's found in this, uh, the stomach is part of the digestive tract in many animals. Its function is to break down food and uh, store it to later be absorbed by, in the intestines. It is an organ, as I kind of gave away in, <laughs> when I was describing it. Uh, here we have this picture. It looks like there's a heart and vessels, kind of a hint, hint. Um, so two different things working together. Um, it's found in the circulatory system and it's um, in the human body as well as many other organisms have a circulatory system. Its function is to transport oxygen and sugar to all the cells within the body. This is a system, an organ system. So here are some other pictures. We have, it looks like multiple um, multiple connective um, pieces of the same type. Uh, see the various layers of cells in the human body. Um, so we have epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, muscle tissue, connective tissue. Each of these has its own function, but they are connected to others of the same kind. These are tissues. These are different types of red and white blood cells found in our blood. Red blood cells transport oxygen to other parts of the body, and white blood cells fight diseases. These are cells. Okay, so this is uh, a panda. It's found in China. Its function is to live and survive in the wild, made of many different types of cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems. It's an organism, just like a human. So this is actually, uh, a, we know this to be a brain cell or a nervous cell. A nerve cell, um, and it is a cell. So those are just a few examples I wanted to share with you to take you from cell to tissue to organ to organ system to organism.